morning 5p this is mr wong today is the 16th of april thursday so uh, we'll be doing two things today number one we will be going through the page 8 sin yesterday given yesterday um and then we'll go through uh, we'll start on activity 5.2 in your activity book and i will show you uh, how to get started using the online circuit construction software Yesterday when I saw your class kit, I realized that a lot of you are starting to not try your homework. I really want you to try. If it's wrong, it's fine. I just want you to try. Even for yesterday, the page on class kit when I want uh, the page on class kit regarding the constructing of circuits, I just want to see whether you can use the software but only have like a handful of you that really tried it out and um, posted a picture of it on class kit. Okay, so yesterday your activity was meant to, uh, for you to try out the online software so that you know how to connect the circuit, how to get the different parts of the circuit out from the menu and connect them together in a way that will work. Okay, so um, you need that practice. So if you haven't practiced yesterday, please practice today because today for activity 5.2 later, we will definitely be using um, the software to do the activity. All right, so let's start with um, page 8 of the SIN. <clears throat> All right, so uh, yesterday the lesson was about open and closed circuit. So I will use a red color to represent open and I will use blue color to represent close. So yesterday you were taught on how uh, what are open and closed circuit and the differences between them. Okay, so let's try to answer the question. When the components, components also means parts, Okay, if this way is too difficult for you, just say parts is fine. All right, the parts. Okay. All right, so um, components basically means parts. So when the parts of the electric circuit are connected to form a complete loop, okay, you can say complete path. Or you can say complete loop. Okay, it means there's no gap in between. Okay, both are accepted. Okay. Um, so when the paths are connected to form a complete path, means there's no gap. It is actually called a closed circuit. Closed circuit means there's no gap. Open circuit means there's a gap. Alright, that's the main thing you need to know. And when the two ends of a battery are connected in a blank or blank electric circuit, the electric current will flow okay will flow through the circuit all right so most of you write open or close um if i connect the battery to an open circuit uh nothing will happen electricity won't flow through electric current won't flow through because there's a gap so this is something we'll explore um more in the later part of the lesson uh it's actually a series or a parallel cir electric circuit series and parallel circuits we will explore in the later half of the topic and it will be the bulk of the topic as well. Okay, so uh, when the ends of battery are connected to a series circuit or a parallel circuit, the electric current will flow. Okay, hence electric current that flows through a closed circuit. Okay, electric current can only flow through a closed circuit. It cannot flow through an open circuit, which has at least one energy source. And what do we call the energy source? In a circuit, we call them battery. Okay, since we're talking about only at least one battery, it's in a singular form. All right, when an electric current flows through a bulb in a closed electric circuit, so when an electric current flows through a closed circuit, the bulb will light up. Okay, because there's no gap, the electric current can flow, so the bulb will light up. Okay, let's go to the bottom okay so in a what circuit the parts are not properly connected okay in a what circuit not all the parts are properly connected when the parts are not properly connected means there's gaps in the circuit means it is a open circuit okay and that's why there are gaps between the parts and when there are gaps between the parts electric current cannot flow through Okay, let's write that down.
Okay, so when there's a gap in the circuit, electric current can't flow through. Alright, okay. Alright, so let's do the last part. A bulb will not light up. A bulb will not light up in an open circuit. Okay, we know because open circuit there is a gap. That's what we have seen before. If there's a gap in an open circuit, the bulb will not light up. So open circuit is formed when um I'm gonna write this um in relation to the bulb. So how do I connect the bulb to the circuit and why when why won't it light up? Okay, why we will not light up. So for example, if the metal casing of the bulb is not connected to the battery, alright. So if the metal casing of the bulb is not connected to a battery, the bulb will not light up. Similarly, if the metal tip of the battery uh, of the bulb is not connected to the battery. So here we are talking about um, the details on how you connect the bulb to the circuit. Both the metal casing and the metal tip must be connected to the um, bulb, uh, must be connected to the circuit, to the battery for electric current to flow through. Right? Okay. Okay, and part C, the bulb, when the bulb blank, when too much current flows through the filament. So what happens when too much electric current flows through the filament and the filament melts? What's the word we call to describe the bulb? Okay, there are two keywords here. You can either use the word the bulb blue or you can use the bulb fused. Okay, fused means melted basically. All right, so um, three reasons why bulb will not light up. If everything else is okay, it's because the metal casing of the bulb is not connected to the battery, the metal tip of the bulb is not connected to the battery because you need both the metal casing and the tip to be connected and not just on the casing and not just on the tip. And then um, if everything is fine but still it doesn't work, perhaps the bulb has fused because too much electric current flows through it, perhaps you use too much battery or perhaps there's a power surge. Right, so this is the homework for yesterday. Um, what I will go through in the next video is activity 5.2. I'm going to start you off by showing you how to construct um, examples of the circuits, that, uh, the electric circuits that you want to test out for 5.2 using the online software. Okay, so catch you later.